I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm, and whose conscience approves their conduct, will pursue their principles unto death. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Poe is the pupil who does not surpass his master. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws. She has no effect without cause nor invention without necessity. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? Iron rusts from disuse. Water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so does an action sap the vigor of the mind. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. Life well spent is long. He who wishes to be rich in a day will be hanged in a year. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. It's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. Blinding ignorance as mislead us. Wretched mortals, open your eyes. The human bird shall take his first flight, filling the world with amazement, all writings with his fame and bringing eternal glory to the nest whence he sprang. Time abides long enough for those who make use of it. The function of muscle is to pull and not to push, except in the case of the genitals and the tongue. Just as courage imperils life, fear protects it. Painting is concerned with all the ten attributes of sight, which are darkness, light, solidity and color, form and position, distance and propinquity, motion and rest. The natural desire of good men is knowledge. I have found that, in the composition of the human body as compared with the bodies of animals, the organs of sense are duller and coarser. Thus, it is composed of less ingenious instruments and of spaces less capacious for receiving the faculties of sense.
Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence. He is just using his memory. Just as courage is the danger of life, so is fear its safeguard. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. You do ill if you praise, but worse if you censure what you do not understand. The senses are of the earth, the reason stands apart from them in contemplation. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does study without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. Medicine is the restoration of discordant elements. Sickness is the discord of the elements infused into the living body. Weight, force, and casual impulse, together with resistance, are the four external powers in which all the visible actions of mortals have their being and their end. To such an extent does nature delight and abound in variety that among her trees there is not one plant to be found which is exactly like another. And not only among the plants, but among the boughs, the leaves and the fruits, you will not find one which is exactly similar to another. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Each man is always in the middle of the surface of the earth and under the zenith of his own hemisphere, and over the center of the earth. 